now that we have our character rigged, um, we can start animating. Like I said in the previous video, uh, everything's created in frame zero, uh, but when you start animating, you need to move the uh, time, the slider over to frame one. This is where all your animation happens. Um, and we're going to make things called keyframes. Keyframes are just the start and stop um, positions of your character. So on frame one, I'm going to just put him in a pose. Uh, bring his arms down. Um, put him on his hip. Um, these tools up here, the bone tools, I mainly use uh, manipulate bones. That You can grab any bone and just move it around. It's pretty awesome. But uh, there's other tools like rotate, which only rotate. Um, scale tool is really neat because it can you can change the height of your character by scaling the bone up or down. Change his head, the length of his legs. Make him a little bit more proportion or whatever. I mean, you know, it's it's a really powerful tool. Uh, but we'll put him in a start position arms to his side and then say frame 24 I want him to raise his hand to his head well if you s pull the timeline to 20 uh, frame 24 and lift his arm up and put it up to his head if you don't have a start frame in between it's just gonna make a slow movement to that frame so if I want to go up to his head at 24 and then 48 bring it back down, it's going to slowly kind of morph or do some kind of matrix effect. It's just, it's, it's kind of weird. So what, instead, um, if I know that I want his hand to go up in 24, right before it, say frame 18, I'm going to click his arm, bone, and that be creates a start frame. So that tells the, uh, uh, bone that not to move until then and then on this frame 24 raise it up so now you play the animation and now if I want his hand to go down on 48 I'm gonna tell it to start moving on 41 or 42 go to frame 48 and then bring it down again that way you get um, sharp movements it also gives you um, the ability to change the uh, length of time. If I wanted his hand to go down slower, I could just grab the last frames and pull them a little bit farther down the timeline so it comes down slower. Or all the way down, make, make it really slow by taking it way down the timeline. Um, and you can do that with every movement. So, say I wanted to uh, make him kick, select his bone, actually I'm going to select this shin bone, and then a couple frames before that, bring his leg up, um, he's not really kicking, I'm just, I'm just going to make a different pose, uh, click on his torso bone to create a start frame, can't see it because I already have one over there, and then Maybe make him lean. Then I want his leg to start coming back down, so I made a start frame, make an end frame. Go back in the timeline. When his leg comes down, I want him to start moving his torso here, bring it back. And there it is. Animating. Um, in about, what is that, 10 minutes. So, hope this helps any beginners.